And I've been appointed to be what's called the lead artist, which is to sort of come up with a strategy for how to incorporate public art into the new civic scheme. So initially it's, it's, um, it's sort of thinking what's, what type of things, how, how you might uh, bring public art into this new space. It do doesn't necessarily mean a permanent thing like sculpture but behind us. Um, so it could be like a sort of landmark thing that is permanent or it could be a, a temporary, um, who knows what, a, a performance that takes place on one day or something that happens every year for the next 10 years or yeah, a bronze sculpture that sits there for the next 30 years. But basically public art is anything, anything that doesn't have to happen in something designated as a gallery. I make a lot of work that has been connected with journeys. Um, so for instance, recently I went to Antarctica um, with the British Antarctic Survey and made a whole variety of work, um, quite a lot of video um, artwork. Um, but also a whole series of drawings. Um, I made a, uh, a drawing a day on, on a little digital device, a little palm pilot, um, but very traditional drawing. I looked at things and drew them. Um, so it was using a, a, a piece of technology, but really in exactly the same way as artists have always made drawings. And then I sent these drawings out every day to an open list of people that could subscribe to get a drawing from a journey going further and further south. I grew up in um, the uh, village of Ipston, sort of uh, just between, well, near Goring. Um, and yeah, Reading. Reading was, when I was a teenager, that was very much the, the city lights that, that we used to come and hang out in. I, I came back to do my MA at Reading University, so I then, I then saw actually what was quite a changed Reading by then. There was, there was quite a difference between the Reading that I grew up sort of uh, around and within and the one that I came back to. It, it, was, it was already much more, um, it seemed much more confident and uh, lively, just a lot, lot more stuff going on. One of the things that our society does to um, to sort of give itself a sense of identity, I suppose. I mean, someone was talking earlier about the old uh, town hall and the sort of the amount of sort of uh, beautiful details that there are on it. Um, all of that is sort of, in a way, um, extra than is. Absolutely essential, but it's something to do with, uh, yeah, making sort of celebrating Reading. I suppose, I suppose that's the point.